Today, we're going to talk about pigs, specifically lessons we learn as first time pig owners with Cooney Coonies as well, not your generic commercial breeds. We had Cooney Coonies because they were a backyard pig, calm and less aggressive and smaller, um, and also because of their short snout, grazing pigs. You're making the pig too happy. <laughs> this isn't that surprising, and one of the reasons that perhaps vegetarians and vegans use to not eat pork is pigs are highly intelligent. Because of this, they like routines just like people do. They also can be trained. So every morning, because they knew it was coming, they would be up at our gate that was halfway down the garden shouting at us to hurry up with the food and that would be from the moment that you opened up the back door because they knew as soon as that back door opened first in the morning you were going to be coming down to them within the next few minutes so from that point onwards it was the morning song if you can call it that for the food so yeah they are very aware of the routines that they had i'm part of various pig groups on facebook and i know various people train their pigs to make sure that they sit or they back up so that they're not being pushed around when they're being fed um even just down to make them perform tricks or whatever else like you ask a dog for their paw you could do the same with a pig but <laughs> we're not going down that route it's just nice to be able to get them to the point of don't give that look it's just nice to get them to that point where yes they know their routines but they also know that they shouldn't be pushing you around and to be a bit more polite with things it is definitely interesting to witness this on a daily basis and how it progresses so for me it was i used to like going down and just sitting with the pigs and where the chickens would just peck at you and kind of be interested and and, and want to see what's going on you couldn't necessarily you could train them to a degree but they would still be pests whereas pigs you could kind of i felt i got to a point where they they almost understood slightly the boundaries now do I believe that if I happened to have a heart attack and uh, was laying there that they would not eat me? No, I think they would... Go through bone like butter. However, I felt like we had uh, trained them to a degree that they were kind of able to be just in and around you and, and you in a somewhat vulnerable position. Again, always being aware um, of where they are, what they're doing, and if, because at the end of the day, they're, sh they're powerful creatures, so you have to be kind of, you know, aware of them, but having that trust that they are, um, they won't necessarily overstep the mark too much. Pigs aren't that messy. We definitely found, they eat everything. So they, any food you put down, it will be gone. And specifically, it'll be gone before rats can get to it. Um, they don't generally go to the toilet on their bedding, um, so we had a little setup. I'll show some shots now. I would probably every week, sometimes twice a week, would put more hay on there. Some of it, they'd, they'd eat some of the hay. But I think I maybe once saw poo in a corner of it. But other than that, it was absolutely fine. It was the chickens that we found a lot more um, that we had an issue with uh, in, in, in bringing rats into the garden. Now... Whether that means you should bring a pig into your house, <laughs> I'm still, you know, for me, the jury is out on that. I wouldn't necessarily, they're, they're brilliant and they're entertaining, but they do still want to go for a pee whenever they want to go for a pee and want to go for a poo whenever they want to go for a poo. So not not yet. We'll see. So the joys of Cooney Cooney being grazing pigs is they tend not to root. You will find some Cooney Cooney pigs do root. Believe me, I've seen plenty of evidence of it on the pig groups. But our pigs were very good and occasionally they'd dig a little bit of a hole, but nothing much at all. Um, so because of this, our ground didn't become a big mud pit overnight like some pigs will do. They will just root it up and you end up with an absolute mess. But our pigs didn't do that, though we did have our pigs over winter. So all summer long, they were absolutely fine, though over winter... Many months later... The ground did eventually become just a muddy mess. And that is because at the end of the day, they do have quite small feet. And for the amount of weight on them, 
it means that they're going to be constantly pushing the grass and the mud and kind of churning it because of their feet and because it's wet as opposed to because they're rooting it so eventually it did take a while but eventually the space they were in did become a muddy mess though I'm assuming because they didn't root it that it did come back. It took some time because it had been compacted, but the grass did come back because of the root structure still being there because they didn't root it and the existing seedbed that was there, it did have the opportunity to come back and the garden did come back. Surprisingly healthily yeah. as well. And one of the- well fertilized. Yeah, the big learning thing I for, for us was like you said, it was the seedbed, but also it felt like it was barren because it was had got, crushed down compacted. so much it was really compacted really hard and just thought well nothing's going to want to go grow back through it it's going to take so much moisture to get the soil to 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 breathe some air into it as such to allow things to grow but no okay, grass will grow back one of the slight issues we had was that because rats were getting into the chicken coop and sometimes rats were either getting scared away before they'd finished or they were just only eating half, they'd be they'd leave bits of egg. And through probably that and various other other reasons, the chickens were choosing to not lay in there was to go into the, the pig pen. Now, obviously that's partly because of the small scale. It was only in a garden, we just made that choice to have them in together. But because of that, it meant the pigs were getting a nice eggy breakfast every morning and it took a few weeks to figure that out. But then it turned out what we had to do was um, if we could get in there because the pigs would come out, have their breakfast and then just have a route around. The chickens would then, after having their breakfast, let 10, 11 o'clock um, would go and lay. So if I came out about half 11, I could get there before the pigs. <laughs> so we did work a bit of a system in uh, being able to still get the eggs, but... Nonetheless, it was yeah an issue that is a telltale reason for why maybe you don't want to have chickens in, it, in, in pigs um, in the same space. So slightly back to the intelligent point of pigs is that that also makes them very inquisitive and very nosy. And due to Kunikunis being a smaller breed of pig and the fact that we had the chickens in with them, it also meant that there was at least one occasion where we went out and there was half a pig sticking out the chicken coop. Jason had been down there, cleaned them out, left the large door open on the side of the coop, and yeah, I've been down there and found a pig sticking out the back of it because they want to know what's going on. So yeah, make sure you close the bigger doors so they can't get in. <laughs> Obviously, pigs are hard to move when they don't want to. They're big, heavy lumps, and if they don't really want to go somewhere, they won't. We didn't necessarily use the stick and board option. We often just used food and just like a bucket. I really enjoyed, we used to, for a little while, we had in the front garden, which was just a small patch of grass, so definitely not big enough to leave them on for any uh, long period of time. But we used to run them through the garden from the back out to the front each day to, to put them on and that was generally by just you know they they got to know that that's where food was going basically but it also meant that because they don't want to move when you don't want them to the one time you know some pig owners need them to move i used to get them in a trailer to take them to freezer camp they don't want to go and they when you push against a pig they will actively push you back. So it's not just you can't move them due to size, it's they are stubborn and will push you back. But like we found with that, obviously that was fairly stressful for us, that situation as well, you know, taking them to um, to the abattoir. But it was with a, with a many of the different ways, if, if we wanted them to go somewhere or do something, it was just having patience. Like we found that day, one of the pigs went in quite quickly and it was food orientated. We just sort of shipped the food and made it sound like, okay, they're going in there to try and get something. Whereas the other one was just a bit more wary. So it just took him time to just have a sniff around and be like, okay, and then his one foot's there and then it's okay, I'll, I'll have another look. And then they just slowly make his way. It wasn't that he just didn't want to do it. He was just a bit more nervous and a bit more wary of doing so. And but a way that you can very much, very quickly 
like with certain people I know, if you try and force them and try and make them do the thing you want them to do quicker, then they'll fight against you and it will be a lot longer until you can get them to do that thing. So, last and final point. Hold on to your hats. When you have male pigs, you will find the evidence that you have male pigs. And let's just say it is a weird mixture between sort of frog eggs and aqua beads. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, so I think that's that's it for today. We've done our um, few points that we learned. Don't want to do it in every single video, but we'll do it in this one. We're brand new. Please give us a like, subscribe, share it with every single person that you know, because uh, we're not getting lots of views at the minute. <laughs> Um, and yeah, until the next one. See you for today. Cheers. Speak to you later. She'll go first. <laughs> I want to go first. Mean we're meant to go. We're meant to work yeah. from one another. It doesn't mean I remember Me, what I meant to be saying. Me you. Pig semen. I'm not starting with that. Start with pig semen. Yeah. Straight in. Pig semen's weird. No, so you gotta wait till about halfway through and people are starting to lose interest. Then you throw in the pig semen. Right. So we're not gonna do that on the fun now. Like make the thumbnail like what's this and then it's kind of like art attack where it kind of reveals why do we have a picture of pixie no oh, there you go